Hi there, this is Dr. Unity speaking. Yeah, so let's go. Can you see this? And can I take here? Here and this is Dark Forces 2020. I think that's looking awesome. Let's check how this was done. These are my controllers and this is the code for this button here. If I am in this range here for my box collider, which you see here and which has been made very big in comparison of this size from the button itself. This is the size of the button, you know, and you see the box collider is sized also. And I will go back and this is the standard size. And I have done this here, the box collider was is trigger. And I, when I get into this range, here, the trigger is turned on and this boolean is set to true. And if not, it's false. Star Wars first person shooter. And when did you play a first person shooter from Star Wars the last time with story and everything like in 19... 95 when Dark Forces 1 came out. Dark Forces, it's just Dark Forces. Yes, I'm going crazy. He has no logic yet. Let's see how the door controller is done. It has a reset time of 4 seconds. You see that if it closes after 4 seconds, it has a boolean and checks if it's open. The move door method is checking that you can see if it's opened which is triggered when i hit the space bar then the transform is fired at the door itself you can see that here and if you move this ooh, then the door opens and that happens when this is fired after i hit space when this variable is set to false again after four seconds the opposite thing is done and it adds these 11 meters in this direction Ooh. how the enemy is controlled now it should fire the sound if i get in range of this drone doesn't why so let's check that we just have to add source so we are adding the wild sound yeah that one oh, bam. play on awake test yeah that's working disable this play on awake you see this collider here that collider this green one here this is a trigger and if i go into this collider then it should fire the alarm sound we are going to test this now it doesn't why doesn't it fire this sound effect Disable the maximize and play and check the console here. Let's clear that. So check the console. As soon as we get in range, there should be a text. You see it? 
player in range. The script works, but the sound isn't played yet. Do you have an idea? 